Hey guys, this is Brian. Uh, today we're going to look at this is a Graco 490. So this is going to be very similar for 395, 490, 495, and 595. We're going to be replacing the uh, control box on this unit here. This is a warranty job, so uh, that's why the machine looks as new as it does. Long story short, uh, got a bad box. So it's going to be very quick. This is not difficult to do. We're going to uh, move through this video pretty fast. Uh, which will leave me an opportunity to give you guys a good song at the end, a song, maybe even a dance. We're going to see. But, uh, yeah, sorry, I don't mean to threaten you like that. But before we get started, uh, safety, make sure you're wearing your appropriate safety gear. No shock hazards, no pressure hazards. Uh, try to keep yourself safe. So, again, this is going to be fairly quick. There's not a lot to this, but there are certain steps that you got to follow to get this done properly without damaging anything else. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is remove the screws off the uh, cover here. This will allow us to get to the transducer and the plug. So we're going to pull this off, pull this out. Sorry, wrong one. My hands got, big fat hands got in the way. So we're going to unplug the black one. We're going to unplug the green one and unplug the white one. Yeah, so, all right, as, as I've mentioned in my other videos, this is a, a working shop, so there's times I've got to stop the video and go help my customers and so on and so forth. So we've got the cord disconnected. Now we're going to uh, unplug the transducer, which is either going to be a blue or a black wire. This is your transducer. Transducers right here. It looks like an old phone jack. If you're old enough to know that, young enough, you may not. But you just press down on that clip and it, it detaches. Now we can take this cover off by simply pulling on the ribbon here and get that out of the way. That way we got a little more room to work with here. So we're going to remove this 3 8 bolt here, and there's here's the new board here. So you got a bolt here. And you got a bolt at the bottom here. We're going to remove those. The one down here at the bottom, best thing to do is go ahead and remove, uh, release this hose right here. That way it's not, not in your way. Tape. Release this hose right here, and that'll just give you room to get to that bolt that's under there. Now, on the back side, you're going to have your wiring harness for your motor. So, we're going to go ahead and pull this out of the way. There's your wiring harness. You press the clip. it loose and this is your thermistor wire you're gonna press down right here and pull it loose your board's out look at that fantastic this is going fast enough you might get two songs in a dance so now we're going to take and install the new one and we're going to go ahead and pull that cover off by pulling the ribbon loose and just work in reverse we're going to hook up the motor assembly first because that's a stronger cord that way if we drop it the weight's not pulling on the thermistor wires here. I'm going to connect the thermistor wires like that. Tuck it back in here out of the way. Take your transducer bushing here. Slide it back in the groove. Bring it around so the transducer pushes right back in that hole, like that. And hang it on something here. All right, we 
once you once you got it here, go ahead and feed your bolt in up here to help hold your box. Don't tighten it all the way down. Throw your lower bolt in. And snug that one up just a little bit. The box is still a little loose. We're going to plug the transducer back in. I'm leaving the box a little loose right now to make sure we don't pinch any wires while we're putting all this back on. Once, we, once we've got that done, then we're going to bring our plug around here, we'll slip this in, try to slip it in, come around this side here, there we go. bring our hose back up. Sorry, we're not going to do that. We're going to tighten the bottom one. We're going to tighten this bottom one up. Now we'll bring this one up. Tighten your hose back up. Plug your black in. Plug the green in. Plug the white one back in down here, and they're labeled on the board black and brown and white wires. So if you can read, you're good. If you're colorblind, you might have a problem. All right, so all of that's back in. We're going to go ahead and tighten this back up. We're going to plug in the new board. I'll give you the new display. And if you got sausage like fingers, they can be a little bit aggravating sometimes. Yeah. Set this up here. We're going to put one in on one side, and we'll put the other on the other side. I just want to do this to hold it in place for a moment while we turn it on. Make sure it's off, pressure's down, plug it in. The blue light should come on. Blue light is on, where this one would, the old one would not do that. So the blue leak itself is on. It's running. That's what we want. I'm going to turn it back off. We know everything's good. We're going to unplug it. We're going to tighten our screws up for our display. All four of them. That's it. Now, like I said, this is a warranty uh, repair here. These boards usually last a pretty long time. There's a three-year warranty on the board when it comes on the machine. Um, once you replace it, then that warranty resets to just one year on the actual board. Um, it's fairly simple, not difficult. Like I said, this is pretty much the same steps through uh, 395 up to the 595. The board, again, like I said, doesn't go bad very often. More likely, if nothing's working, it's going to be the transducer. Uh, if it's not the transducer, <clears throat> you do a check on the motor, which is fairly easy to do. Uh, but your board, usually you'll know it's not right when you take the cover off and turn it on and nothing on the inside lights up. It's just dead. There's LEDs in here that will light up so that you know your... Uh, uh, board is actually getting power and functioning like it should but that's pretty much it uh, something's come up so I can't do my song and dance for you I uh, hope you're not too disappointed but otherwise that's going to be the total repair on that like I said it's pretty quick pretty simple if you got any questions feel free to drop them in the comments if you got a request again drop it in the comments if you found any of this helpful I'd like to help out, hit that thanks button down at the bottom by the uh, like button. 
and I do appreciate it. You guys be safe. Have a good day.